Well, hi guys, it's me, Naomi, and me and Zoe today are working on a little project that um, we bought these um, super cute um, dolls from the thrift store. And today, so we're going to get started with them. And I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, tune in for more videos. And let's go. So we're going to start off with the hair. And here's Zoe. She's having fun watching me kind of come together piece together what i'm gonna ex actually do for the video um right here i'm just putting the hair into a ponytail um because i'm going for kind of like a, a bohemian look for the dolls um and we just got decided to name them gabby and abby and oh so let me get back to the hair so what i'm doing is i'm gathering the hair and i've selected two pieces from both behind both ears and i'm using it and just tying it behind to kind of create a little ponytail from the hair from the yarn um yeah so right now the ponytail is all over <laughs> um yeah so I guess right now I am just getting the two little braids that I want to kind of hang on the side of her face. Kind of give her that little cute chic bang, Chinese bang. Um, and I'm braiding it down towards the um, bottom of it. And yeah, don't don't mind my little Daz. This is a thrift store Daz and we didn't ever finish it. And it's just like I've been using it for craft projects. So it's horrible. It's mess. Anyways, um, it'll do for now. Okay, right here I have some gold wire that I get either from Walmart. Um, it's probably like $3.99. Um, or you can get it from Hobby Lobby. And I uh, typically use my 40% off coupon. Yeah, and so that works for me. Works for me. Here's Miss Zoe. She's just <laughs> enjoying this camera. Hey, Zoe. I love you, Snookums. Mommy's little Zozo. She's trying to be discreet. Because <laughs> she doesn't want me to tell her to stop. So she's watching me. Okay, so now I'm right here. I don't know if you can see it so clear um but i'm just taking the wire and i'm twisting it around the braids to kind of give you know a little trendy set to where they wrap the wire around the braids or the bohemian twist or something like that but i'm putting this around her little braid and just you know securing it so it can hang oh nothing's in your eyes zoe <laughs> so we got one braid done and we had the other one done as well off camera um, and so we're going to take the rubber band off here, shake it a little bit. Um, I thought I was going to leave it like this, but I don't know if I was going to do it. So, um, I just decided I'm going to put it in a little wrap bun up there and just, you know, put that baby together and just make it kind of cute and chic, you know? Um, <laughs> I think, I'm thinking it's coming along pretty good. Just grab one of Zoe's, um, hair ties to secure it um because this of course is her personal um dollies for her to just carry around and you know play um house with and stuff like that um so we're picking out so i'm utilizing my cosmetology license to kind of decorate a little hair and i'm setting her up and i love these this doll that i found because they're so they're movable but at the same time they have like this wire inside of them so you can kind of form them to wherever you want but it's not wanting to stand up right now so <laughs> i'm trying to see whatever i can use to mount it up so hopefully this works yeah it works <laughs> it works now we start with abby so with abby's hair i've decided that i'm probably because i asked zoe say would she be okay with the two ponytails because once i put the ponytails together i don't think we're gonna take them apart so we just decided to just leave her hair down in the back and create two ponytails uh, let me snip this little piece off so make sure it's all even and comb the hair down because you don't want her looking all shabby and stuff you know we want our girls to be looking cute you know just like little girls so we put it in two ponytails yeah so i'm actually being very creative as um 
I just go along. I really don't like to sketch. I really don't like to kind of plan what I'm going to do because my ideas can always change. And that's the kind of um, artist that I am. I don't really like to do all of that. Now, if I'm going to make duplicate copies in, you know, to sell my items or something, I try to sketch it out. So that way I have an idea of what I'm going to always do for the rest of them. But right here, um, I just took one of the ponytail. I did the very same thing that I did on Gabby. And we're using the yarn to create the little tie to keep her hair together and stable. And so, look, we have one ponytail. And now let's do the same, very same thing on the other side. Yeah, I'm loving it. But, yeah, so that's what I typically do um, as far as my creations and stuff. I like to do it random. I just like free thought. That's just me. Um, I don't like to be put in a box with my creativity and my things that I create. I just like to do them randomly. If they come to my mind, they pop in my mind, I just want to execute it, you know? And it's kind of a challenge and it's a thrill and it's exciting for me to see whatever, you know, ideas pop up. And um, as a believer, I believe that my gift and my talents are inspired by um, God. So, you know, I just try to stick with that. So, and I just want to execute what he gives me. You know, it just works that creativity in me. So here, I'm just taking a piece of each ponytail and I'm wrapping it around the base to kind of give, you know, a more cleaner look. Um, if I was, you know, putting on ponytails and stuff like that. Of course, little girls' ponytails, we don't typically put the, um, you know, a piece of hair around the base of the ponytail. We just let the ponytails and put a little bow. But here, we don't have bows. We didn't put any bows in it, so I'm using it to kind of clean it up. And Zoe, Mommy's little helper, yes, um, is helping me to hold, basically hold up the doll so I can do the other part because, of course, I don't have three hands. And I don't have a stand for my doll to, you know, hold her up and stuff like that. So I'm taking this wire and I'm just wrapping it around the base of what we did just to give a more, you know, again bohemian look um i use a little tie hair tie to kind of get the hair out the way so we're removing it now and just letting it hang so it gives a little shine and sparkle a little dazzle accessory embellish the ponytail you know <laughs> okay and we're gonna do the very exact same thing on the other side um yeah we just want to Wrap that old gold top, that hair around there first. I skip the step. And then we're going to wrap the gold around the base of the ponytail as well. Yeah, so we're doing that. Oh, Miss Zoe, yes. Never mind Zoe's hair because we used Eco Styler gel. And so it's um, actually when I recorded this video, it was Saturday. And so, yeah, it was time for wash day. So right after this video, we washed my baby's hair um, to just get, you know, from the whole week of putting her hair and using the Eco Styler gel on her edges and stuff. So that's what you see. It's not dirty, like uh, filthy or something it's in her hair. No. Um, it's just my little pookie. It's time for wash day. So, let's get back to what the point was. <laughs> so, we're keeping the bangs because, you know, they're besties. So, they want to still kind of look alike. Um, so, I'm taking a couple of strands from her bang. And I'm wrapping some of the wire around it to kind of give her a little, you know, how the gold little clips that they would put on the braids or something like that. But we didn't have one that was so small. And I also have beads that are the gold ones. But I really didn't feel like um, pulling the crochet you know, out and stuff like that. To try to push it through there. Through the beads. So I just created this little piece and made it more simpler. You know. But I think it turned out pretty good. So we're getting this little baby around here. I'm actually loving it. I'm like, ooh, that's something I could probably do with Zoe's hair. Let's move that out the way. Okay, what are we going to do? Oh, so we decided that we were going to also add the braids to her ponytails. Of course, again, they're besties. 
Yeah, as you can see, Zoe wasn't doing a very good job of holding him up without wanting to go play. But I still kept having to tell her that, Zoe, this is you and Mommy's project. We have to finish it. And so, that was the only way I could get her to stay. <laughs> I just love this music. I love it. It's so soothing because I love just instrumental jazz. And, you know, I, sometimes I just don't like those words. Mm, I'm, I'm not into it. But I love, you know, the instrumental part of it. So I think that Mrs. Abby is all done with her hair. Yes. Doesn't she look cute? So here's a quick sketch of what I was trying to um doodle and just see what i was gonna do for one of the outfits and first we're gonna start off with gabby's um what i'm gonna do with the fabric pieces that i cut out and create i'm just gonna take the fabric glue and i'm going to glue it on so here's some that i pre-cut put together made a little ruffle for over her sleeves um for her little dress straps and so we're going to press it on. So I just want to kind of give you a little idea of how I was going to do it. Taking the fabric. And now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to, where I'm going to actually place it at. Um, and I'm going to use this super fabric. I get this from Hobby Lobby. Um, again, you can use a 40% off coupon. And it's um, pretty inexpensive. Um, I'll try to leave. Hopefully I remember to leave that down in the description box at the end. Okay, so we're taking it and we're gluing. So I noticed that when I was doing it on here, you need to put a good amount, maybe a dime size. Um, it may go through the fabric a little bit, so maybe you can cut back just a little bit. But um, I'll say actually a pea size, um, just a green, little small pea size would probably do good. But you might have to do it maybe once or twice. That's what I figured out, you know. Um, so we got the front part on. I'm taking this little tag I got. I got these dolls for 79 cents. And that was pretty good. Um, I forget exactly um, the name of these dolls. Um, but I wish that I could buy a bunch of them. And just do random projects. And, you know, maybe sell them or something. Or connect with the, the creator of them. Or make my own. Maybe one day. <laughs> I don't know if I can buy the time. Okay, so we're just properly trying to get this on here. I had to blow on it just a little bit. Okay, so see, here we go again. We had to put some more because it was wanting to come off. So it was just taking a little bit of time. Now when i did this doll creating so um it took me about i could say about 30 minutes for each doll just to create the clothes cut out the pieces and everything so i'm taking the front panel that i created and i'm gluing it to the straps of for the front um using fabric glue glue eh, i'm getting tongue-tied trying to talk and keep up with the video um now guys i'm gonna give you a little tip if you can keep your desk area a little bit more neater cleaner it will make everything feel a lot better you can be more creative and everything so please excuse my mess on my desk i don't typically like it to be like this i like more open space but where we live right now currently it doesn't give me as much space so i have to utilize um my you know my work area in a section of my living room so um but yeah if you have a craft room oh kudos to you i wish i could do the same thing so hopefully now on the video we're actually getting to the back part because we've been working on this front part to try to get it adjusted for a while so now i'm taking the back of the garment towards the back to kind of just make sure everything's going to fit securely around evenly because you want it to stretch around you don't want it to have that huge gap okay we didn't create zippers 
So we're going to be overlapping. So it looks fine from what I see. Sorry for my hair, y'all. My hair gets in the way sometimes. Come on now, we gotta do better. Y'all don't, I'm not a professional editor, I'm not a professional photographer, nor a videographer. I'm just trying to work with what I have, baby. <laughs> okay, so we've done that one side. Now we need to get to the other side. But I think this is going to turn out really, really cute. Oh. She's going to love it. She's going to love it. I know she is. Okay, so we take some more. I'm going to glue that on down. There's Miss Zoe in the background. She's occupying her time until Mom finished this project. And I see that I'm alone now. I'm alone. <laughs> Man, if I can actually figure out and kind of just process it in my mind how I can create my own fabric dolls, I think I would really enjoy this because I'm telling you guys, I actually had a really good time creating this. Um, it's just something about creating things is just so amazing to me. <laughs> it gives me pleasure. See, oh, and it's coming, it's just coming together so cute. So now I just went ahead and created her little um, skirt. I created a little paper pattern. And yeah, and I also tried to cut some little slits. That way it gives the skirt a little bit more movement around her waist. So that way I can fit it around there. Because if you don't do that, I'm telling you guys, you have a hard time fitting that um, fabric. Because I cut it the pattern in like a circle. You know, and um, almost like a C pattern. And so, um, if you don't cut those slits, you will not get that around the waist. And that's for real clothes as well. Um, so, I fit it around and it went just right. And it fit plush and around her waist. And also, it, I was more worried that I didn't want the fabric the skirt to be so short to where it didn't go below or past her bottom you know so you know our little girls they have to have their bottoms cut up you know and we put their little bloomers underneath there we can't be going there usually i will put some shorts i well that's what i actually do with my daughter's clothes i always if she wears a skirt she has to wear shorts or um tights underneath mm -mm, we don't play like that I am a protective mother. And I have to teach my daughter how to be a, a young lady until she becomes a lady. And then we'll see the manifestation of my teaching. <laughs> so here, it's looking so cute. So we're going to add a little strip because I wanted to kind of, you know, look like a real skirt. So, of course we need to create this to be you know perfection i didn't put her seam allowance at the bottom of her skirt because this fabric is pretty sturdy so um i didn't cut along the fabric to where you know the little strings would come up unravel apart so i went cross across the fabric to where it was like it's hard for the little fabric pieces to come out so and here's the dolly and her little outfit so cute and simple we kept the shoes off because of course i'm going for that more bohemian that's our style bohemian minimalist type style so um we wanted her feet to be bare um you know so where she can be barefoot and everything so but zoe really loved her and i asked her, did you like it and she was like yes i love it mom 
and that's what she's actually saying on the video but she's wanting to pose with her doll and excuse the mess in my house guys i'm trying to vacuum up this floor but these are how to, i bought the dolls and they were pretty in good condition you know and everything and so i was just like let's just redo and give her a little makeover but her makeup came out to be so cute and this is the dress that we actually made for abby hers is the same fabric we just made her a solid a-line skirt with a little collar um but they actually came out really good and me and my daughter we enjoyed it for the little time that she gave me to work on it and i did the rest myself but i wish it was all of us so i hope you guys like the video you will subscribe to lady naomi w now um so please subscribe I'm on instagram facebook pinterest um practically over except for